All right, we got a great story here. My friend Laura Levy running for the Senate, Republican from uh, Connecticut, Laura Levy, who is closing, I mean, it's virtually even, against Richard Blumenthal, who is a far-left radical, and he's been doing it for 30, 40 years, and all of a sudden it's catching up to him. Leora, welcome back. Blumenthal on inflation. Now, this is a guy I see with a vulnerability. He has rubber-stamped every failed economic policy of the Biden administration. He's voted for all of the trillions of dollars of spending that have caused inflation, caused the high prices that make that those prices are making life unaffordable in Connecticut for Connecticut families. What's, I, he, what's he say? So you're going to hammer him. He voted for March 2021. That was the bill that triggered all this yes. inflation in the first place. But he hadn't stopped. He's voted for this inflation reduction bill, which is really BBB, uh, green handouts left and right, seven, eight hundred billion dollars. He's for the, is he, where is he on the student loan cancellation? He oh, must he's love all that. for it. He's compassionate, right? Yeah. Compassion. Never mind that, that it's completely unfair. You have people who are working hard, people who were responsible and paid off their loans or chose not to go to, to college. Personally, I decided not to go to law school because at the time, my father had my two sisters paying full freight in college. I was working and his business was going in the wrong direction. So I stayed and worked mm. and and chose not to go to law school. I did not feel comfortable taking on debt. So let's go. Blumenthal on workfare and work requirements. I mean, isn't he he's for welfare without workfare? He's or am for, I wrong? I, I believe you're right. I mean, there's another issue. It's just giveaways. It is. And he's in, he had three opportunities to vote against using taxpayer money to pay for illegal aliens mm. in this country. Mm. And every time he voted that they should receive taxpayer money, including PPP checks. How about Blumenthal on um, uh, not the student loans, but on the IRS, 87,000 IRS agents for $80 billion? Now, well, we differ on that also. I, I will make sure when I'm elected senator from Connecticut, we will not fund 87,000 IRS agents to harass middle class Americans and small businesses. We will hire more Border Patrol uh, agents and more immigration court judges mm. in order to clear out the backlog and, and enable them to enforce our laws. We must close our border. Without a, uh, without a border, we're not a country. What is he, so you're hammering him on this stuff. Um, what does he say? Actually, I haven't really seen him any place. Is he out and about? He is. He's, he does go out and about. Recently, he had a press conference calling for no, more Narcan. Well, that's very compassionate, except he caused the problem. If we had a closed border, there wouldn't be so much fentanyl coming across that border. If they weren't flying illegals to Westchester County Airport and Tweed Airport, there wouldn't be as much fentanyl in our country, mm -hmm. in our state. He also held a press conference on human trafficking. Well, again, close the border. They are enabling and creating these problems, and then they try to sound compassionate the, with solutions. Last 10, 12 seconds, you getting the support of the police? police I unions. sure am. I was endorsed by the Fraternal Order of the Police. This has been a very tough week in Connecticut. I will be at the funeral tomorrow for the two officers who were slain, and my heart goes out to their families, my condolences, and I just pray for the officer who survived and who had the presence of mind despite being wounded to kill the assailant. Great stuff. Leora Levy, folks, closing in in Connecticut. Couldn't be one of the biggest upsets.